This video was recorded on the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 590. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Pixel and welcome to the Sapphire Tech YouTube channel. Today we are going to be taking a quick look at the performance of Crackdown 3 running at extreme settings at 1080p on the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 590. Now, since this is a universal Windows platform game, we are unable to run the game in true full screen. FreeSync won't always work properly and our normal performance monitor has troubles too. So for that reason, we are using the game's built-in FPS counter. Also, I don't know if this is something that is to do with my own setup, but I did find that running the game with an uncapped frame rate or without VSync would cause the mouse to stutter very badly. So some of these clips will be capped to 60 FPS as this was the only way I found to make the game feel truly playable. But anyway, with that said, let's have a look at the gameplay. Crackdown 3 is an Xbox One exclusive that is available on the PC via the Microsoft Play Anywhere initiative. This game was announced alongside the Xbox One way back in 2014 and after numerous delays and multiple developers, it's finally here. So the question is, was it worth the wait? And well, that depends. One of the things that I've seen this game get blasted for is the visuals, with some critics going as far to say that this actually looks like an Xbox 360 launch title. Now I can't comment on the visuals on the consoles, but what I can tell you is that it's certainly not the case here on PC. I mean, look, I get it, the world is not packed full of detail and the textures often do look very simple and clean, but this really comes down to the stylization of the game rather than the graphical quality. The lighting on display here is actually very impressive, mostly due to the global illumination combined with the very detailed shadow cascades. Not to mention the nice sharp neon lighting strips and signs that fill the world all work together to make the game's visuals really pop. As well as the lighting, the game also has a very pretty height fog that adds a real sense of depth to the environments, especially around water and in the game's more industrial areas. With this being an Unreal Engine 4 title, we also see PBR materials all over the place with many surfaces offering a very well implemented screen space reflection system. All this points towards Crackdown 3 being a fairly advanced title graphically, however I can fully appreciate that while objectively the tech on display here is impressive, how much someone is going to like the look of the visuals is very subjective and so if you are to say the game looks ugly then, well, who am I to argue? But if someone tries to tell you that this looks like an Xbox 360 game, they are simply wrong. On the other hand, if someone tells you that this game plays like an Xbox 360 game then, well, yeah, I think that's a pretty accurate description. If you have played the original Crackdown, you already know exactly what to expect here. While the game on the surface may resemble most open world city games such as GTA, Saints Row, Watch Dogs and Sleeping Dogs, the reality is, and I know this is going to sound really stupid, but the game has got more in common with games like Banjo-Kazooie than it does with games like GTA. I say this because sure, while there's a city, there's guns, there's cars and all that jazz, at its core, Crackdown 3 is a collective on platformer that contains action elements, so it's completely understandable that if people are coming into this thinking that they're going to get an awesome open world city full of interactivity and simulation elements, then yeah, they're going to be disappointed. You're winning local hearts and minds, Agent. Every propaganda tower we capture shows them that we're taking back this city, and they're starting to help. Normally, I would try and explain the gameplay in a little bit more detail, but honestly, you've pretty much seen everything in this video already. I mean, you get to drive cars, you get to take part in races, clear enemy strongholds, platform the environment while searching for orbs, and really, that is pretty much it. One thing that should have been really cool but unfortunately falls extremely flat is the fact that you can do all this in co-op with a friend. However, due to the lack of drop-in, drop-out functionality and the fact that the game is locked to 30 frames per second on PC while in co-op, I could not bring myself to care about it whatsoever. The other thing that I think a lot of people are really not going to like whatsoever is the lock-on system. As you have likely seen in the footage already, the aiming in the game is extremely simple. You simply hold down right click and then you basically lock on to the nearest thing that needs shooting and when I say lock on, I, I, I really mean lock on. Then you basically shoot it until it's dead or destroyed. I really wish that I had the option to turn off this feature and manually aim for myself, but unfortunately, that is not an option here. I mean, I suppose it's mainly due to the movement system because it is very fast and hectic, but I would have still liked to at least have been given the option. 
Story-wise, there's not much here either, at least not in terms of story progression. I managed to get around halfway through the game so far and I basically ended up just skipping on what little story there is and I was instead treating the game like a Terry Crews simulator. I mean, there is actually other agents in the game, but while they all probably have their own charm, I simply can't justify to myself playing with anybody else but good old Terry. So I really can't comment on them at this point. But anyway, this was supposed to just be a short gameplay video, so just let me give you my final thoughts. Crackdown 3 is certainly not as bad as many of the critics have been saying. However, I do believe that it is the kind of game that people are either going to really enjoy or really, really hate. So in many ways, it's impossible for me to recommend for it or against it. If you like the look of the gameplay or you maybe have the Xbox Game Pass already, then by all means, give it a try. But if you was after something more akin to a more action-focused GTA, then seriously, this is not the game for you. So with all that said, this has been Crackdown 3 running on the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 590 at the Extreme preset at 1080p. And if you found this video useful, then please do consider hitting that like button. And if you're new around here, you should really consider slapping that subscribe button so you get notified from new videos from us in future. Once again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, I've been Pixel and I will catch you later. Bye bye. Burn, baby, burn!